everybody. Maybe I'm playing uh, another type of fly for you. This is um crusty crusty type and shrimp. Nice sort of toad like fly. Um loads of movement with a craft for tail. We bit a marabou simple simple dub and brush body. Gives you a nice shrimpy profile. So I've starting a two or S Gamakatsu SC seventeen in the vice and I'm running down a bed of hot orange a fire orange thread. So I'm just in line with the barb. For the tail I'm going to tie in quite a big bunch of uh, tan craft fur. Get your bunch, take off the hide, grip it fully tight and then pull all the under fur away. Set that aside then, um, that makes great dubbing for your bone fish flies. And then have a look, measure it up. I like the tail to sort of be one, two, two and a half shank lengths in this. Two or three. Oh. Don't worry if you snap your thread. Especially if it's this easy, I just cut it in the hook point there. Um, Put it back on. You need to be careful with the, the hook points and these are very sharp. As I just demonstrated. Um, so just come back, measure that tail up again. Two or three wraps will hold it. Short. So just, just adjust it and take another lock and wrap. There we go. Trim that away. I'm going to add some pearl crystal flash. Get okay, three or four strands, maybe five. Tie one down each, the bunch down each side. Tie it in on one side, fold it over, tie it in on the other, and sort of quickly tidy up. And to help prevent that from fouling, tie it, get some 30 pound mono, any old mono will do. Tie in a wee loop. Just make sure it's uh, nice and even. And then just pull all the tail through the loop. So it's Of it. It looks a bit big, so I'll just just back the thread off a wee bit and shrink it slightly. That's a bit better. 
which I'm away in my excess um, crystal flash. So. Just slightly longer than the craft fur. Right. Then I'm just going to take a tan, a tan marker, a brown, and I'll just put some bar in. On this tail, with four or five bars, just to sort of simulate the, the natural barring of the shrimp. I'm going, then, the collar I'm going to tie with um, woolly bugger marabou. So you, just, you need three feathers, one hot orange and two tan. Right. So I like to take my two tan feathers, make sure they're uh, lined up. So I tie them so that the curves are, there is a natural curve to the feather, tie them so that they open up as if you were tying like a splayed hackle. Um, and then just catch it all in under the shank and the gape side and let it extend just like halfway down the tail. It just sort of covers up the tying and everything nicely, hides that loop. And then the top I'm just going to take a bit of hot orange and I'll tie that just, just maybe just slightly shorter and cinch it down. everything up. If you get any sort of long fibres just rip them away. And the body is I'm just using a an EP crustacean brush with, with the micro legs and tan. Doesn't take much of this. Make sure that's well tied in. And make a nice smooth underbody with your thread, just tidy everything up. And then just wind this forward. You don't need to be too, make it too dense. Um, I actually quite like if I can leave a tiny gap between the wire wraps, like just the, like the thickness of this sort of bundled up material at the core is enough just to separate the wire. So that later that the orange will sort of shine through it's the translucent um, fibres so four wraps is enough for this size of hook four or five wraps and just helicopter it to snap the wire away I think that's it snapped and then just come in and cut the any EP fibers are still struggling in there, holding on. Then I just like to take a, a little wire dog's brush. Just this is as quick as anything for picking out the the fibers. 
and I'll sort of trim it a wee bit at the top and same at the sides just hold it up if you hold if you sweep the fibers up and then trim it'll sort of make sure they're even that gives you a sort of almost toady profile and then same down the bottom just and I don't don't worry if there's a few legs like hanging long I quite like that although you'd like them maybe sort of evenly you know I like reasonably evenly distributed if possible so there you go yeah, that's the body basically done and the last thing to tie in is the eyes just using mono nymphies large a quick figure eight and it takes nothing to hold these eyes up they're not really under any pressure and I'm just actually going to quick finish over them as well and there you have it a crusty tarpon shrimp nice little shrimpy fly lands soft in the water just a nice slow sink rate on it so I hope you liked that, if you did or if you didn't, leave a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching guys, bye.